that your powers of retention are as wet as a warthog's backside. But thick as you are, pay attention. My words are a matter of pride. It's clear from your vacant expression. The lights are not all on upstairs. But we are talking kings and successions. Even you can't be caught unawares. But we are talking kings and successions and successions. We are talking and successions and successions. We're talking ecological succession. The succession that Scar was talking about was him taking over Mufasa's spot as king. In ecological succession, we're talking about species taking over living in a new area. There's two types of succession, primary succession and secondary succession. Primary succession takes place in an area where there's no soil. That can be after a volcanic eruption, a landslide, or a flood. Now the first species to take over the new area has to be able to survive without soil. A pioneer species, which is the first to take over an area, that's common in primary succession is lichen. Now lichen is mad gangster. Lichen can grow on rocks, doesn't need any soil, and can survive anywhere from the tundra to the desert. Lichen isn't just one organism. It's a symbiotic relationship between a fungus and usually an algae or bacteria that can photosynthesize. The fungi will attach to the rocks and the algae or bacteria will photosynthesize to produce energy. After lichen attaches to the rocks, through weather the rocks will break down and erode into smaller pieces forming soil. Also, as lichen is decomposed, it starts to form a thin layer of soil. As a layer of soil thickens, you'll have new species of plants growing, like mosses and ferns. Here's a rock that has lichen growing on it and has also developed a layer of moss. With the small plants dying, mosses and ferns, the level of soil is going to get thicker, which allows plants like grasses and wildflowers to start to grow. When these plants die, more nutrients is added to the soil, and now you'll have shrubs and trees growing. After the area can provide enough life on its own through photosynthesis you'll have heterotrophs coming into the area insects, birds, and animals so the area was transformed from bare rock to a place that can support life like our friend Marcus the Fox this picture shows the progression of primary succession from an area of rock in frame one to frame two where lichen has begun to grow in frame three there's enough soil for mosses and small plants and then in frame four there's enough soil to grow wildflowers shrubs and trees secondary succession takes place in areas that already have soil because it already has soil, secondary succession is much faster than primary succession. Examples of areas that can undergo secondary succession could be an abandoned crop field where people used to grow crops, left it just soil, and plants started to grow back, or after a forest fire. I have a video to show you of secondary succession after a fire. That was dope, bird. Now here's a picture of secondary succession. You can recognize that it starts with soil 
and with the soil in place you have small weeds and plants growing in the area. Over a long period of time, 150 years in this picture, the end of succession will result in a mature forest. Now the end of succession will have a stable group of plants and animals and we call those organisms the climax community. Climax community is not always the biggest species in the area but more the most dominant. In the prairies grass is most dominant. In the desert cacti is most dominant. These organisms can become the climax community because they have tolerance which is the ability to survive and reproduce in conditions that are not optimal for their survival. They continue to survive because they don't need no man.